Hey guys, um, I'm just going to show you, I made these little bird houses, um, and when I post them on Facebook I call them Tilda Bird Houses, uh, and that's because I used Tilda paper and I made them for Art Attack Supplies um, as a DT project, and I did just use them all out of paper, sorry, my phone's out there, um, and I use paper, for these particular ones, I use paper from Sewing Bird and Happiness is Homemade, I believe. Yeah, and then a piece, this one is from Winter Memories. So I kind of just use a combination of um, multiple paper pads. Um, so I'm going to just do a quick uh, tutorial. And I will post a link for the um, template. All I did was search Google, um, oh gosh, I don't even remember, free paper birdhouse or something to that effect. Um, and then you know in Google it just, you can click on images and it just shows you a bunch of stuff in images. So um, that's what I did to find the template. And it came with these two pieces. It came with this that is the house and then the roof. Okay, so all I did was cut, I printed the template out, and then I just lay it on the paper that I'm gonna use, and I just trace it. And I'm not bothered by the um, print on the paper, how it's gonna come out, because it's not gonna be perfect, so what does it matter? Like this one is fans, and on the paper, you know, the fans go like straight, but here they're crooked, but honestly, I don't care. And then on this one, which will happen with this one, the um, wood goes at an angle. But again, I, I'm not bothered by that. So, um, so once you trace the actual birdhouse out, and I do two different patterns. So there's the birdhouse, and then I'll trace the roof. And I like to do it on the back side. And I just printed it on regular computer paper. If you want a, you know, bit sturdier template, you can trace it or print it on cardstock and then cut it out. But I'm fine with it being on printer paper. Okay. So then, once you have uh, both templates drawn, then you just need to cut them out. I'll try to do that quick, guys. Um, because once again, I did them in Tilda paper and true Tilda stuff is not heavily embellished. Um, so that's why the birdhouses that I did really, I didn't put anything on them. And I mean, I like it that way. So, but you can absolutely, however you make your birdhouses, embellish them however you want. Okay, so there's the roof. Okay. So we have our roof and we have our house. Now we have to score it, the house, in order to fold it. So what I do is I just use my little, honestly, I don't even know what these are called with the little ball on the end, I use it on my scoring board as opposed to, you know, the thing that comes with it. So what I did was I just stuck the template back on it. Let's see. I'm not bothered by those. So we'll do it this way. Okay. And then I just use a straight um, metal ruler. And then I just lay the metal ruler my frame guys yeah I just lay the metal ruler along the lines fold it down and score okay and then flip it around here hold it down as good as you can and score and I just do that along all the dotted lines because the dotted lines is where you're supposed to fold Uh, 
And yes, doing this in regular printer paper, it is getting rather thin, but I can just print another template, no big deal. Okay, so once we've done that, and for the roof, I just fold it in in half. I didn't even score it. So I just folded it like that. And then um, I inked the edges in all of, um, on all these roofs. Um, two of them in red, and the other one was in vintage photo. So if you want to, you can just ink the roof. And then, like I said, all of the dotted lines were your score lines to fold. So I just went through and I folded them all. And it's not going to be a deep score, and I'm not even going to try to show you on camera because I know you can't see it. But it's not going to be a deep score. It's just going to be very light score, depending on how hard you press. Um, but it's definitely there. You can definitely see it. So you'll at least know where the fold is supposed to be. So once you get everything folded, you're going to use um, sorry, I'm grabbing my glue, guys. You're going to use whatever um, glue you like to use. You could use score tape, liquid glue, whatever I use. I, I mean, this is my absolute favorite is glue, Helmars. So that's what I'll use. And just put a little bit on this end piece that you folded over. That's how you're going to attach the, the house. Once you get that together, that's what creates your house. Oh, I forgot to, let me grab my punch. I forgot, you'll need a whole punch, guys. Okay, because you have to create the opening for the bird. Okay, so once you get that together, then you have to do your roof. And I kind of leave these up a little bit, try to get it square. And then you're going to, I just put glue on the actual little tabs and then put my roof on. But I use one of these stir sticks to push from the inside and I'll show you what I do. So just put a little bit of glue on the tabs. And then put your roof on. Now, depending on what kind of glue you have, you know, I don't know how quick it's going to be, but you kind of need to make sure that it's centered and that you have the same amount, you know, on both sides. So once you do have the same amount and it's pushed all the way up into the center, I just kind of hold it and then just push down with the stir stick on the little tabs inside so that I know that it's adhered. And then I just set it down and push. And I just kind of look all around to check to make sure that everything is still together till the glue dries. And then just hold it again, depending on what kind of glue you're using. Okay, so we're all dry there, so it's standing. I know you guys are looking at it from the top, but there you go. So then you need to make the hole for the bird. So I just have this little one inch EK Success hole punch. And, and actually on the template, it shows the hole more towards the exact middle. Well, my punch won't go all the way up like that. So all I do is stick the punch as far as it'll go. And down here, 
I, in order to make sure it's centered, I just make sure that the punch is even on both sides. And then once it's even on both sides, I just punch. So that creates the hole. So there is basically the birdhouse is done. Now you just need to make your perch. Okay? So to make the little perch, all I did was take a piece of paper. Okay? And sorry my arm, guys. I'm looking for a paintbrush. And then I, I just took like a paintbrush and then I just kind of started a curve in the paper because you just all I did was roll up the paper so I just kind of kept doing that till it was gonna curl for me pretty good Just kind of rolled it up as best I could. And then I wanted it to stick together. So at this point is when I put some glue in there. And then just rolled it up some more. And I kind of rolled it further than I, you know, I needed so that I knew it was rolled and let the glue dry and then I just unrolled it and trimmed it Oops. okay so there's my little perch it's kind of too long I'm going to cut the end of it off. Okay. And then all I did to stick it to the birdhouse just put some glue on the end of it. And just kind of centered it on the hole and then down just a ways and then just held it in place and pushed just a touch while the glue dries. And like I said guys, I mean at this point you could embellish however you wanted to. Um, but I love the tilde paper, so the tilde paper, just having it paper is fine with me. So there you have it. There's your birdhouse. Little perch is on. Birdhouse is made. All right, guys. Again, I'll have the link below to where I found the template so you guys can uh, go download it. Just print it out and make some birdhouses. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.